Okay guys, so I believe I made a bit of a mistake here. This is a gecko, it seems to have no signs of life whatsoever. I think it drowned or died in the egg. And basically I think when it like pipped, or I think that's what it's called, I'm not sure. When it like slit the things, I waited and waited and waited and just kind of let it do its thing. But I think that it drowned inside the egg and I should have... I should have cut it open somehow, which I'm not at all familiar with. Considering the first two I hatched, they just hatched out on their own inside the enclosure. So this one, I figured it would hatch out pretty close to when the other one was born, but the other one was born, I mean, half a week ago. So I definitely should have done that, but now I just want to get it out, just to see if it's like deformed or something, or like what even... What does a crushed gecko look like in the egg? So I'm trying to just, but it just doesn't look like it's alive, which is really strange. I think even if like I cut it open early, if it needed to, so I don't know a whole lot about this. So there's a possibility that this is like killing it, but I don't think so because even if I cut it open early, I think it would have, like it would look alive. It just doesn't. It's so weird. It's <laughs> like I don't understand how to get it out of this thing. There. See, it's just not. It looks completely normal. I don't want to just pull it. I don't know what I'm doing here. There. Yeah, it just didn't make it. I think it drowned in the egg. So you can see, so this is, this, let's turn this into a teaching moment. Um, uh, yeah, so I think it drowned inside the egg, which was my fault. I didn't, I should have, I didn't know what to do, but I should have at least looked it up. So I went ahead and looked it up and I noticed it. Like, I shouldn't have messed with it until it, until it did crack the egg. Once it cracked the egg, I should have, like, immediately after noticing, just went ahead and opened it, like, like, further cut the egg. Not necessarily with these scissors, but maybe with a, a razor blade and just finish cutting the egg so then it can get out and start breathing right after. And then here we have it, and I'm sorry, I don't hear all, I'm trying not to get too much light on these eggs. So I'll move these and then I'll show you with proper lighting. Because lighting can kind of hurt the eggs in a way, so I don't want to do that. Essentially, the geckos don't like the, the geckos within the egg don't like to be under light so what they do is they'll kind of rotate themselves and they can cut off limbs and stuff with the the umbilical cord or whatever this is so I know this is kind of grotesque because it's not alive but you can see there at the like genital area there's where it connects to the egg and the egg sac and everything. And then, I kind of want to get the, so here you can see its tail and everything, and it would have detached from everything on its own, but it just didn't, <sighs> which is super disappointing, because it just, <sighs> man, <laughs> it's one thing if an egg goes bad, it's like, well, whatever, it's just, you know, it's just an egg really early on, but this is this was so close.
and it just didn't it didn't make it so I'll just set this stuff in the enclosure or bury it in the enclosure and the isopods will eat it because that's yeah so that's really disappointing luckily its brother or its sibling made it out and I'll keep this in mind so from now on I'm still hatching the geckos in their enclosure but if one hatches and the other one doesn't I'll pay really close attention to the next one but I wish they would hatch at the same time like the first two because they hatch like right at the same time so that's that's very disappointing Hello everyone, it is now many months later and I don't think that any other babies have had any issues. I've hatched out quite a few since the making of this video since November 22nd. It's currently sometime in March 2021 and no, no problems with babies. All of them have hatched out pretty well except maybe one that I think I already showed like forever ago on the channel where it, it there was one that was infertile and then one that was fertile in the same clutch, which was really strange, but there was no other, like I cut it open and there was nothing formed inside at all. It was just this like gross substance. So it's been going pretty well since then. This was just kind of like a fluke. And now I know that if it's not doing anything, like if it slits open and it's not doing anything, then I need to get it out of there so then it can start breathing. Because by the time that it starts slitting the egg, it needs to breathe. But what I read online was something along the lines of if it's not like breathing, then maybe there's, or why it's not coming out, then maybe there's a reason. And that generally, if you have to help them, then they're not going to make it out. They're not going to make it anyway. So you can think along the lines of that if you want to, but if it cuts the egg, then I will plan on like helping it out in the future as long as I see that it's cut the egg and everything like that. So that's kind of what I learned from this experience. However unfortunate it was, uh, I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't real happy about this, but luckily I've had tons of healthy babies since then, even though a lot of them have been really small, which is kind of interesting. But uh, as I said, as I keep saying in the gecko videos, is that the, the a lot more content is coming. Like this was in November. So since then I've had many, many babies born, uh, lots of videos about them and stuff like that and lots of just stuff like that. So stay tuned for that. This is all I have for today. I wanted to touch on a comment I made on the I guess it's a discussion board, like a post or whatever on YouTube that I'm only doing two videos a week now. And I want to clarify on that because I, I, I don't know. I think I'm coming off wrong on that type of thing and that I sound like I'm making the channel out to be like an, an inconvenience on me, which is not true. And that is not how I want to come across. So essentially, my priority is in school uh, first and foremost. Uh, I plan on going to school to be a um, going to a school for veterinary science and if not that then some form of like biology or zoology and I'm like currently looking for like the the college classes to take that. I'll be taking all college classes next year so I'm you know that's what I'm doing and First and foremost, I have school, and then I, I'm involved in quite a few things. I'm invo involved in sports as well as fair and different things related to the, the county fair. And then obviously I have many animals that I take care of. I have like 28 reptiles right now, which is crazy. So there's just a lot going on, and then school takes up a ton of time. So next year, it should be different because my classes will be just different. They'll be at a col they'll be at college or I think I'll have one at the high school, but that's only like a semester class. So my classes will be very different. I should have a lot more time at home. However, the classes will be harder. So there's that as well. And the plan is that from there, hopefully I will have time to continue on with the channel and do everything and eventually once I'm taking 
like the the interesting biology courses and like uh, what chemistry courses and physiology and stuff like that. Hopefully I can kind of translate some of that onto the channel and share some of that knowledge as I learn it and kind of turn those into videos and do stuff like that, which should eventually be pretty interesting. So the channel is not an inconvenience in any way. It's just what happens to kind of give when I need more time, if that makes sense. And as I said in the thing, sleep is also very important. Fortunately, I'm quite sleep deprived. And a lot of the time when I'm editing a video late at night, I keep falling asleep and stuff. And it's just a lot. So uh, unfortunately, the channel is is what can give there. I mean, my animals are what they are. I can't lack on their care. And I can't, you know, cut out school in any type of way because that is what is very important. So those are the things that I need to uh, focus on. And unfortunately, even though I very much enjoy making these videos and doing the channel and I would rather spend all day making closures and then posting about it and doing research and stuff, I don't have that opportunity because of school and the path I want to go down. So for now, there'll be two videos a week and then probably I'll go back to three videos during the summer unless I get my act together and start making proper videos that are more educational and stuff and then I'll actually probably make less videos but they'll be a heck of a lot better so I'm not entirely sure what the future holds but that is the plan for now I hope you enjoyed this video I know it's a little bit grotesque and I'm sorry for that but honestly it's just a baby gecko and it's the same thing of looking as a, at a living one as looking at a dead one they're, they're essentially the same it's just not alive so not all that different to be blatantly honest. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you happen to, feel free to like this video down below. If you have any comments or concerns, put comments below. And if you're more content, then subscribe.